Welcome to another Basic Barista tutorial. Today we are going to make specialty coffee. With a specialty coffee, the recipes for all the ice and hot coffee will be different. We are going to make our hot drinks in 6 ounces. I've already made one, which is my latte. And before I continue, let me give this a try. Mm, that is very, very smooth indeed. For today's video clip, I am going to use a special coffee beans from the Philippines. This is from Curve Coffee Collaborators and it says experience Philippine coffee at its best. This is one of their premium blends and it's called Sweet Shot from Overflowing Cups Philippines. Origin is from Mount Apo and Colombia and the flavor notes are sweet lemon, muscovado, dark chocolate and roasted hazelnut. With the specialty coffee drinks, we are going to make use of the same amount of coffee but we are going to pour less amount of espresso. So it's a shorter shot, 18 grams of coffee beans and we're going to use the ratio which is 1 is to 2. So we're going to pour a double shot which is equal to 36 grams of espresso for all the drinks that we are going to make today. Because I'm going to make hot coffee and iced coffee, I'm going to split this video clip into two. The first part will be hot coffee drinks using the specialty coffee beans and also a premium espresso machine and grinder here. In part two of this video, I'm going to make iced coffee drinks. These recipes are also available in my book, the second edition of The Basic Barista. You can order this book from Amazon and also from Shopee and Lazada in Philippines and in Thailand. We're going to start with Americano and also Cappuccino. For this, I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee beans. Although I'm using a programmable coffee grinder here, still I don't trust it, so I really need to use a coffee scale. So I'm going to measure my basket here, set it to zero, and then I'm going to pull 18 grams of... Okay, so now it's like a lot overflowing here, so make sure you put it all in the center. If you have a dosing funnel, then it really helps a lot. I'm going to use a needle stirrer here. Just make sure you distribute the grinds evenly. Use your leveler. Turn it around slowly and then tamp. I'm aiming to pull my espresso shots here, 36 grams within 25 to 29 seconds. And there we have our two espresso shots pulled within 28 seconds and I have 38 grams of espresso. That's good enough for me. Okay, so one will be for my Americano and the other is for my cappuccino. And I'm going to add water into this. This is my preferred way of making Americano. It just tastes a little bit better than pulling your espresso shots on top of the hot water. Okay, let me give this a try. Mm, and that is absolutely delightful. I get the taste notes of the specialty coffee beans that I'm using here. Delicious. And now I'm going to make my hot cappuccino. Get your cold jug and also a cold milk and we're going to use the steam. For the steam, make sure you purge and then you wipe just to make sure that all the old milk in here will not be included in your milk. Okay, so we are going to steam cappuccino whey, so we need to inject a lot of air here at the start to make sure it is thick enough. And then texture the milk. You stop when it is too hot to handle. Okay, there you go. This is my steamed milk for my cappuccino. Definitely thick enough here. And you have hot cappuccino. Now let's find out how it tastes like. Mm. That is very, definitely very strong coffee and also the addition of the chocolate just makes it look different from latte and flat white and the, the milk is just the right texture. It leaves that creamy mouthfeel which is very very much what you want in your cappuccino. Next we're going to make latte and also caramel macchiato. So for this I'm also going to pull a double shot of espresso from my 18 grams of coffee. Okay 17.8 I'm going with that. We're going to use our leveler and tamp. Mm. 
steam the milk immersing the one a little bit deeper okay so the texture of the milk here will be thinner than that of the cappuccino So that is definitely a very very thin texture of my milk here perfect for a latte latte wow that is very very smooth i love the taste of this coffee beans it is i'm, I'm utterly impressed with this beans next we're going to make my caramel macchiato for the caramel macchiato i'm going to use vanilla syrup to sweeten the drink so here I'm using Tarani vanilla, so just one pump. This is a hot coffee and not a lot of milk in there and coffee. So it's a small cup, six ounces. I don't think you should go any further than one pump or 7.5 ml. So now it's time to steam our milk. Cold jug, cold milk, and we're going to steam the milk as if we are making a latte. Okay, not very thick. Now this is more like a vanilla latte without caramel. So how do you make this into a caramel macchiato? I would suggest that you add some caramel sauce on top. And that is just heavenly. Mm. If you like your coffee sweeter, more like vanilla and caramel, then you should go for caramel macchiato. Absolutely delicious. Well, that concludes our hot coffee drinks using specialty coffee beans and premium espresso machine and coffee grinder. Remember that what we use here will be a slightly lesser amount of espresso. So instead of getting the full espresso shot, which is normally 60 grams, we have reduced the proportion into one is to two, one part coffee beans to two parts water. So 18 grams of coffee beans and we pulled 36 grams of espresso. So each one of my six ounces hot coffee beans here has 18 grams of espresso except for one my first one which i pulled a double shot of espresso which could be quite strong but this is how i like it mm. wow all of them taste really good stay tuned for part two of this series and we are going to make iced coffee drinks in the meantime if you have any questions at all about these recipes do let me know in the comment below i'll see you again next time thank you for watching ciao for now